All right, so we have our intermediate value theorem example here. So it says, for the function below, verify that the intermediate value theorem guarantees that there is zero in the given interval. Well, basically what we're saying is verify that you can get k is zero. Okay, well, remember what the intermediate value theorem says. Well, first off, we have to make sure we're continuous on that interval. Again, we have a quadratic here, which is a polynomial. And any polynomial is always going to be a continuous function. So that meets our first um, condition there. Next, we need to make sure that uh, g of a does not equal g of b. So g of a, we cannot equal g of b. Well, let's make sure that's true. So g of a here, which would be g of negative 1, that's going to be negative 1 squared minus 3. Well, negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 3 is going to be negative 2. Okay, and then let's do g of b. Well, g of 2 would be 2 squared minus 3, which would be 4 minus 3, which is 1. Okay, so by the intermediate value theorem here, it says that there is going to be some value for c um, where f of c is going to equal a k value that's between g of a and g of b. So since 0 is between negative 2 and 1, this guarantees that there will be a 0 in this interval here. And that's all.